Now, if you are in the process of applying for different undergraduate degrees, maybe for maths, maybe for maths and computer science, or maths and philosophy, or maths and statistics, doesn't necessarily matter so much, just as long as it involves maths to your Brussels Group University, you're probably going to have to take the mathematics admissions test. Now, this is a test that you cannot rush. It does take a lot of time to prepare for. It's typically something that you take at the beginning of your A2 levels in year 13, or maybe in your last year of high school. Saying this, here are my top five tips on how I recommend you prepare for such a difficult test and how you can actually progress onto universities like Oxford, Imperial, and even Warwick University. My top tip on getting ready for the MAT is actually attend the MAT live streams that start early August. What a better way of getting ready for this test than actually hearing from professors at Oxford themselves how to actually tackle these difficult questions that you might see on these papers. Ideally, you might want to start preparing for the MET at an earlier date, but at the very least, you should start be looking at things like past paper questions from August. So actually attending live streams at this point is a really, really good moment in time in the middle of your summer if you're not too busy to actually get a little bit of additional support. It's also really, really useful because with it being a live stream, anyone can ask a question on something that they are uncertain about. And sometimes it's not just the MAT they ask about. Sometimes it's also about the interviews at Oxford. Um, so you end up getting a lot of insider information about the application process for any of the mathematics courses at Oxford that are available. So, if in doubt, and you're not really sure where to start, I would very, very, very strongly recommend you attend those live streams on a weekly basis. Tip number two for preparing for this admission test is really get to know your syllabus. Um, now, like most admissions tests, it actually has a strong emphasis on understanding your AS level in mathematics or the mathematics you learn in year 12. If you study some other courses that are a little bit different from this in structure, maybe like the, the IB or a European baccalaureate that follows a little bit of a different structure to this, then you do want to make sure that you know AS level mathematics pretty much inside and out and perhaps a little bit more in places. In terms of where you need to make those jumps in your knowledge, you will only really be able to do this by going onto the relevant websites, getting a printout of the specification, and employing what I would call the traffic light system. I've mentioned this for other admissions tests and other videos as well, but I cannot stress how useful it has been, not only for my students, but for myself as well uh, in preparing for this test. I would actually go for the specification, I would color code in green. If I absolutely know everything about the topic, I can answer a question confidently on the spot. Yellow, if I'm a little bit unsure, but I might be able to get it with a bit of prodding. And red, if I absolutely no clue. And what I would do then is use that color coding system to know where I would start my revision. I'd start with the reds, and then I'd move to the yellows maybe, and I'd go to the greens. And I would do this maybe on a weekly basis just to be updated with how well I'd know my material. And eventually what I would love to be able to see is greens across the board. So do keep track of the syllabus. Make sure you know the details inside and out. Any particular gaps between the courses that you're taking at school to what is required on the test. And make sure through doing that that you don't miss out any important material uh, within the MAT. Now my next tip, and I cannot stress this enough, is practice past papers, but do so under timed conditions. As I said before, it's not really like, you know, tests that you would have done in school. They're really trying to weed out, you know, the top percentage of mathematicians or computer scientists or mathematician class philosophers. Um, who are going onto these university courses. So the questions will not be easy. They'll be really, really testing you on your critical thinking skills. There are two sections to this paper that you have to be aware of. 
The first section involves 10 questions that are multiple choice. You cannot and should not randomly guess what they are um, unless you are trying to get last minute marks. Um, there is also section B where you do different questions depending on what courses you are interested in, at least for Oxford. The other universities will tell you what questions you should be taking in those cases, but they are a little bit more open-ended um, and you aren't necessarily answering questions multiple choice there. There are more marks in that section B, so you might want to dedicate a little bit more time in that section to the questions in section A. But how do you know how much time is sort of right for you doing these tests? Well, the only way you can do this is if you've taken a few past papers, done it under time conditions, done it within that two and a half hours, marked the paper and see where you actually went right and where you didn't go so right. And you shouldn't use that as an opportunity to discourage you from progressing further. Rather, it's a good thing because you actually know where you can fill in gaps and how you can be even better uh, in taking this test. Now, tip number four is something that I, I include because there's only so many resources for any one missions test. And that is when you run out of questions for the MAT, have a look at other admissions tests like STEP or the TMUA, uh, which offer perhaps similar questions in terms of stretching your critical thinking abilities. Um, the TMUA I would heavily recommend for additional practice. They also offer a lot of multiple choice questions. We have another video on this, which you can follow with the link just shown on screen right now. And um, with step papers, they are a little bit more advanced, but what I would recommend for you taking the MAT is if you actually have a look at Step's old paper one questions. They don't exist anymore, but they are very, very good in actually answering uh, critical thinking based questions that you might see similar of in section B. Do bear in mind though, you have to take them with a little bit of a pinch of salt. They are aimed at people who have just come to the end of their high school studies, come to the end of year 13 and have already done the equivalent of an entire A level in mathematics. So don't judge yourself too harshly if you can't do all of those. But if you're really running out of practice, with the MAT, I would recommend either of those two papers to get some extra inspiration. And we come now to tip number five, which is something that I actually recommend really with any of our admissions videos, is make sure you get the help of an admissions tutor. Ideally, really, one for the MAT. And now, what a better way, other than getting help maybe from a professor through a live stream, um, of getting ready for the MET than actually getting up from someone who's already done the MET, has already succeeded in the MET, has moved on to interviews, and has actually got on to the courses that they were looking for at places like Oxford, Imperial Warwick, and many other top Russell Group universities. At the Profs, we have a really, really good team of admissions tutors, so much so that 95% of the students that we have worked with have either got into their first or second choice university. And in terms of Oxford admissions rates, 55% of the people that we work with have successfully gotten in, which is three times the national average. So if you don't believe my word, have a look at the stats because they speak for themselves. If you're more interested in getting help with any of our admissions tests, including the MAT, then I highly encourage you to look at the information on screen now, including our number and our website, um, where you can actually be pitched to the perfect tutor that can help you pass tests like the MAT. But until we hear from you further, best of luck with your application.